Alright guys, uh, welcome to uh, We Live A Lot. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a uh, butterfly garden uh, from Insect Lore. Uh, this, is a, this is a pretty cool thing where you can actually uh, raise caterpillars uh, up to all the way into them turning into butterflies. Uh, we've got all of the kids home right now, especially our six-year-old, and we thought this would be a really cool thing for him to be able to do. Um, while being home so much uh, during this uh, kind of crazy time that we're in. So uh, I wanted to kind of just show you guys what this was all about. Um, we did one of these a few years ago with my daughter when she was a little younger. Uh, and it was just a really cool experience getting to raise the, the butterflies or the caterpillars and watch them turn into butterflies. So I kind of wanted to uh, document this one and uh, kind of show you weekly sort of how it works and, and how they're growing and what the process is. But uh, I was going to kind of unbox it for you today and, and kind of show you uh, exactly what you get with the kit. Uh, guys, if you like this video, uh, please uh, give us a, a like uh, if you think it's good content uh, or uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, that would be something that we would greatly appreciate. Uh, so here we go. Uh, so happy growing as you open the box. Got some butterflies on the inside. Now the kits can either come with the caterpillar uh, or if you don't want to have the caterpillars come with the kit, let's say you get this as a Christmas present and you want to have the caterpillars for the spring so when you let the butterflies go, uh, it's actually time to do that. You can actually get the kit with the voucher instead of actually having the caterpillars come with the kit. Uh, we're doing this in April. So we actually opted to go ahead and get the kit that has the, um, the butterflies already in it. So I'm gonna, or the caterpillars already in it. So I'm gonna kind of show you what the caterpillars look like here. Uh, you can see it comes with their food. Um, at this point, all you really have to do is let them eat, which is kind of cool. So uh, when you get the caterpillars, uh, they don't move around a lot. They kind of look like they're dead. But if you're just kind of patient and you watch them, you'll see that they are moving around. That one there is moving a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this has all their food in it. You don't have to open this. You don't have to do anything. See, there's one up here. That's focusing very well on the lid there. Uh, what should happen if everything goes as planned is they should eventually cling to the top here, where you can, uh, where they'll actually make their chrysalids and and start turning into butterflies. So let's take a look at the rest of the kit real quick. Uh, so this is actually a little holder for the lid. So when they're all connected as chrysalids, you can kind of put that uh, inside of here. Uh, this is for actually feeding the butterflies. Uh, they give you some sugar packets here to mix and a dropper. Uh, the dropper is inside of this bag here. You can see the dropper in there. So you mix this. It tells you how to do it on the back here, but you mix it um, with water, I think, and then you get a, a mixture to feed the butterflies once they're out. Uh, so this kind of this is kind of cool. It just explains that the caterpillars may not be moving around a lot. So just to be careful not to throw them out. I'm um, assuming a lot of people think that they might be dead, um, and then throw them out. But they're just really kind of immobile when they first come. Um, this kind of breaks it down for you and shows you sort of step by step what to expect. We'll look at this for a second. Uh, so first you grow your caterpillars, just like I kind of showed you. Uh, it's kind of cool because they'll actually uh, shed their skins several times. Uh, they're exoskeletons, so they they shed the exoskeleton and then they just kind of keep growing uh, until they're ready to become chrysalids. So then the step two is they become the chrysalids and they cling to the top. Then you wait a few days, it has the time frames on here, so that's seven to ten days. And then as time goes on, you put the lid in that little carrier. And then you watch the birth of the butterflies. So everything kind of happens like within a week of each other. So it's actually pretty quick. And then here you feed your butterflies. And then once you've had them for a few days, you let your butterflies go. So you really do have to let the butterflies go. And that's why you want to do this in the spring, um, April, May, probably. Depending on where you live. Uh, if you live in an area that's got summer year round or warm weather uh, year round, you can probably do this anytime you want. Uh, so if you're in an area where you can do this anytime you want, you just order the kit with the caterpillars that come with it. Um, or if this is something that you get your kit in the winter, like for Christmas, and it's cold in your area, you get the voucher and then you send the voucher in in the springtime and then wait for your caterpillars to come. So here's the, the kit. I'm going to actually go ahead and turn this off real quick and then open this for you. 
Okay, so I opened it up. Um, you can see it's the, the housing for the butterflies once they're out. Um, they'll live in here, which is kind of cool for a couple days before you have to let them go. It, it pushes down. And the cool thing about this kit um, is that once you use this, uh, you can actually keep using this over and over. All you have to do is buy more caterpillars and you can actually redo this um, a few times if you want. So um, you can see the, the, the droppers in there. That's the dropper to feed the butterflies. This, this little feeder thing has, uh, it's kind of spongy in here. So when you put the, the sugar water in there, it retains so that the butterflies can eat from it. But um, that's kind of everything with the kit. Uh, I'm gonna try to do uh, weekly videos of this so you guys can kind of see how this all goes down. Um, we'll see how big the caterpillars have gotten from where they're at right now up until um, probably about a week from now when I think that they've changed size a little bit I'll definitely give an update. You can see that guy's moving around pretty good right now. And you can kind of see the pieces in there. Uh, that's actually their exoskeletons already starting to kind of come off. So the process is already beginning for them to grow. I'm assuming in the next probably week or so they'll be getting ready to turn into the the chrysalids but I'll make sure and definitely keep you updated so please subscribe so you can see when the next video comes out so you can kind of watch this process uh, I think it's gonna be kind of fun to watch this and see how it plays out and watch these little guys here turn into beautiful butterflies all right thanks guys Hey everyone, thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. Also, check out me and my family on some of our other great adventures that we go on. Uh, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking the circle in the upper left. It's right there. Uh, thanks so much again for stopping by. I hope you have a great day.